It's now time for one of my favorite segments of the day, mm-hmm. Bet On It, brought to you by our friends over at War Horse Sportsbook, No Bets, No Glory. I want to bet on things that have already happened. That seems easy, right? <laughs> and I'll bet you that you lose that bet. Not as easy as it sounds. Because you claim that? You, he's that pretty was, good on the drops. That was he's, good. he's pretty quick on them sometimes. sometimes. Watching Shane in action, <laughs> like being here because pulled behind the curtain, I'm usually back at HQ yeah. putting up the podcast stuff and – this is incredible. Yeah, it's he, like it's like watching a, a <laughs> who's a famous painter. Uh, <laughs> oh come on, Shane Van Gogh. Van Gogh. It's like watching Van Gogh cut his ear off. It's he's, crazy. I didn't say. I mean, he he doesn't have all his parts. So. <laughs> he's been he's been gone for a while. He probably didn't have any of them anymore, Shane. Um, this <laughs> no. So I what, what, here's what I want to do with the NFL because we haven't gotten to a ton of NFL this week for yep. obvious reasons. Lots going on, but I, I want to know who we think is actually good. Because I, I look at a bunch of teams around the league, and I look at these results on a week-to-week basis, and I watch as many games as I possibly can. And there's some teams where I just don't know. And I think number one out of that group for me is the Minnesota Vikings. I was just going to say, <laughs> I was about to shock you and just say I think the Vikings are good. The problem is is that you're always, you, you talk about the Vikings Monday through Saturday, and you're like, they defense is good that they you know they always step up when they need to the bears game was a bit of an anomaly i feel like that they were you know just kind of thrown into the fire with the new bears coordinator and stuff but yep. statistically speaking over the course of the season they have been just dominant over some of these other teams yeah but you just wait sunday morning you wake up and you're like is this the sam darnold <laughs> turn back to the wicked witch of the west game <laughs> like you just wait for him to just melt into a puddle that that that's and that's, that's some, their biggest crutch is like the bad Sam Darnold game coming at the wrong time. And there's been some ugly performances, to be yes. fair. Now, they've won several of them, right? I mean, 12 to 7 against the Jaguars mm-hmm. comes up. Um, the 30 20 loss at the Rams. It's not like the Colts 21 13 was a real great looking performance. The Titans are terrible. That was yes. only 23 13. So you're looking at this schedule and you're like, okay, they're 9 and 2. Obviously, they're they're behind only probably the best team in the NFL in Detroit in their division. And you look, you mentioned that defense, incredible, dominant. You love them. Sam Darnold's been good enough, mm-hmm. sometimes better than that. But is he still Sam Darnold? You know, like there's. But if you're going to pick a second NFC North team, because obviously you're picking the Lions, hundred percent, you're probably leaning towards the Packers. Yes. Even with the extra loss, you're going to lean because. Jordan Love has been erratic, but I trust Jordan Love more than what I've uh, seen in whole from Sam Darnold. I actually think I go Vikings there. Really? I don't. I don't think Jordan Love's that good. Mm. That's my. I mean, I've said this. I said this when they paid him. I was like, I don't think you have to pay him yet. Mm. He had another year before you had to pay him. I'm not. Listen, just give me a little more sample size. I would love to see a little more for Jordan Love before I start paying him fifty million. How much more do you need? More than half a season. Oh, you you meant when they paid when him? They paid okay, him. okay. I, like, I thought you meant like now. I, I still am like, there's there's a lot of weeks where I'm like, hey, he's okay. It's fair. I, he like, loves he, throwing a deep interception. He loves, he the, loves he, a deep pick. It, it's it's our Tommy Armstrong YOLO ball. <laughs> like, he loves that thing, you know? He, Christian Watson somewhere down there, right? He, he loves a good arm punt, which is great. But I don't know. Every time I watch Jordan Love and I, I'm watching him, I'm like, that dude doesn't scare me. Yeah. And if I'm going to pay somebody $50 million a year, I want him to scare people. Do you know... Uh, just on the conversation of which teams are good and which aren't. Yeah. This one pains me. Okay. Uh, the Denver Broncos might be good. Would you bet on the Denver Bron- Broncos being good? To make the playoffs? No, just being good. Like, just being a good football team. You're watching them. You go, is that a good football team? Do you bet on that? Were we in the trust tree? No one's going to know. Yeah, just trust no, tree. Just you and me? Just circle of trust. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Nick's playing winning football. They, 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 they've got something figured out. They have they have like, played a lot better. Yeah, they on, also did just beat the two and nine Raiders. Who good are, point. Fair. Who are T Rash? They're terrible. so the close loss to the Chiefs obviously blocked field goal. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. Blew out the Falcons. Uh, got blown out by the Ravens. That's an anomaly. I just wipe that one off. Blew out the Saints. Beat the Panthers. The Saints are terrible, by the way. The Panthers Fair. are terrible. Hey, did you say the Raiders were T Rex? I, I didn't see that they had short arms. <laughs> not what anybody said shane uh appreciate you being being Ooh. real dialed in there how though. about a, a real fun james raiders Winston? aren't that bad the, the raiders are very bad i mean they're bottom tier but they're not lowest tier uh they're lowest they're, tier they're pretty bad they're, Jets what, are lowest tier. what tier could they possibly be in if they're not last <laughs> 
they have one they're of the not, worst records. They're not and last, though. They're awful if to they're, watch. They're, they're top tier of the low tier. No. The top tier of the low. So that means they're in the last tier. That's their top tier of the low. Their top Shane, tier of the chain. I need you, Shane. I need you to put yourself in timeout. That's a terrible take. The the Raiders are one of the worst teams in the NFL. That's two of your Broncos' seven wins, by the way, are over terrible Raiders teams. Would you rather be the Raiders or the Jaguars? Because <sighs> your man Trevor Lawrence got a stadium named after him. I wouldn't have paid Trevor Lawrence either, to be fair. Wow. Um. I mean, listen, the production matters. Like, yes, the talent's there. The production matters and the t- production's not there. I feel okay. like the Jaguars are closer to completely just being able to clean. tear it down. Yes. See, that's the thing is I I not that I love the ownership or front office in Jacksonville, but the Raiders have decades of ineptitude yes, right. working against them. Right. Like the Jacksonville has figured it out more frequently mm-hmm. in recent years, which is shocking to say than the Raiders. Have. And their owner's not broke. He, he is certainly not broke. Yeah. That dude is. Uh, flush with cash, as yes. as <laughs> some do say there. But you're looking at so two of your wins are the Raiders. Mm-hmm. Another one's the Jets. Back to the Broncos, no- right? Yeah, another one's the Panthers. Mm-hmm. Another one's the Saints. That are those you are- can only be who's on your schedule. I'm sorry. What do you what, what do you want me to say? You know who's on your schedule? That was not trash. The Seahawks, the Steelers, uh, the Chargers, the Ravens, the Chiefs. All right, all right you convinced me the Broncos are bad. They- I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad you I'm glad you convinced me. They- sorry. They've had a lot of teams on their schedule. I'm a knee-jerk NFL fan at best. <laughs> I apologize. I apologize for any people who know me as the Bronco hater that I am, <laughs> that I ever gave them credence. In fact, maybe this was just a loose way in my mind to make sure that they actually are bad. So you, I appreciate what you did for me there. You Thank needed you. somebody to talk you into the fact that they were actually trash. Yeah, they haven't been a good team all year. No. I mean, that's basically uh, – because the Buccaneers, which is probably their best win, also not that good. Mm-hmm. I mean, maybe the Falcons, but maybe the NFC South just sucks. Like, yeah. I, I don't – because the Falcons and the Falcons and Buccaneers get a beat up on the Saints and the Panthers all year. Yeah. So I, I don't think they have a good win on their schedule. They're better than I thought they'd be. I'll give you that. Not betting on them being a good football team. Who has a better chance to get to the Super Bowl? Ravens or Eagles? Eagles. Just without the Chiefs in their way or what? Like what makes you say that? I just think Eagles are better. The, the way they're playing, but they, right? they feel like the same pumpkin mentality. Like, it, I'm waiting for them to fall off the cliff. Like, it just it feels like those first four weeks of the year when they were 2-2, two and two, they had that bad loss at Tampa Bay. Yeah, like they, some friction between yeah. Sirianni. So here's, here's, my, here's why I think it's the Eagles. One, I think Saquon Barkley is just in another stratosphere right now. Absolutely. And that fixes a lot of problems. Mm-hmm. Second, take out the end of last season and the beginning of this season – who this team has been for the last three years is really freaking good. Yeah. And so if you look at that as like, hey, weird outlier, as opposed to that's who they are, Mm -hmm. because the larger sample size would tell you they're probably closer to being a good football team than being the team that they looked like end of last year, beginning of this year. I will say there is this cloud hanging over of if Sirianni and Hertz's relationship goes south, the whole thing blows up. Right. And that's that's the thing that I fear the most is that, the Eagles have the highest chance to be riding high and then take an absolute nosedive sure. with one bad game. That's, but, that's the, I think, the thing that keeps me from saying that I would pick them as an NFC favorite. Here's my two problems on, well, you didn't say NFC favorite. You said, said Super Bowl, Ravens or Eagles. Eagles. Yes. So to if get I have to Super pick Bowl. between right. one of those two, because I, I, am I taking the Eagles over the, of the, over the Lions? Probably not. No. But if I'm saying, hey, are the Eagles more likely to make a Super Bowl or the Ravens? I'm going Eagles for a couple reasons. Okay. One, as you mentioned, no Chiefs in my way. Yes. I don't have to face Patrick Mahomes until I get to the place we're already trying to go. Right. Love that for me if I'm the Eagles. Second, the Ravens' defense scares me, and not in the way that I think they're scary. Right. It scares me if I'm betting on them. Yeah, it's like a nightlight type of scare. <laughs> like you, you have it up in your it's room. Like, it's like a jump scare. You're like, ah. I would rather bet on the Eagles not imploding because they've somehow managed to – get through that when it seemed like Sirianni was going to be the first coach fired this year. I would rather bet on them not imploding than I would on both the Ravens defense holding up and them finding a way to beat Mahomes. Got to go Eagles there. Man, you're good. For me? Yeah. For me? That's Bet On It brought to you by Warhorse Sportsbook, the best place in Nebraska to place your sports bets. Get to warhorsecasino.com for all their promotions and a full list of house rules. 